Hi everybody, welcome again to Shorty on the Fly. Uh, today's offering I call the Chartreuse Stinger. It's really nothing more than a uh, fancied up brassy, but it's still, it's fun to tie and very effective. Um, you know, as Lefty said, if it ain't, it ain't got no use if it ain't got Chartreuse. So we're gonna go with the uh, Chartreuse theme today. So let's go ahead and get started. For my hook, I'm using a size 14 scud hook with a gold tungsten bead and I'm getting it in the vise. I'm setting it just a little bit lower than I normally would uh, and I've got a reason for doing that uh, because of the way that I'm going to attach the body. I'm using chartreuse wire in the brassy size and as I wrap this on I'm leaving a pretty significant tag because I'm going to use that later on but I'm just going to leave the spool in my hand and start making touching wraps up the hook and see, I've used the place where the hook is in the vise as my guide there. And if I get a little couple of spaces, just go ahead and shove that back down with your thumbnail. That's why we're doing it this way. Um, I don't like those spaces. And sometimes we're getting a little older here. It's getting a little harder to see. Um, so we can use this technique to make sure that that works the way we want it to. I'm gonna go right up in back of the bead and take just a couple of turns lock everything in and then I'm gonna raise my wire up above and I'm gonna come in and clip that off with some toenail clippers I have about two inches up here okay and we're, we're good to go I'm just taking the time here to get the wire back underneath a little deal on the spool and now I'm gonna come in with my thread and capture that Okay, and I'm using a heavier thread today. I'm using a 210 denier thread, uh, Danville, uh, because I'm gonna use the split thread technique and this demonstrates it quite well. You can use smaller if you want, but I'm using this today because it demonstrates the technique so well. So now come in and grab your tag in and I'm gonna make four counter wraps with that up the body and then capture it here and that'll lock everything right in. I mean, that's not going anywhere. It's a really durable little fly. And then we'll just helicopter off. And now I'm going to take and spin my bobbin holder counterclockwise as I look down on it. And that will flatten out my thread and enable me to do the next step real easily and demonstrate it here so we're just doing letting that flatten out oh, i may be going the wrong way hang on a second yeah there we go uh, sometimes you do it and it goes too far and you start torquing it back up again so i had to go ahead and spin it the other direction and now we can come in with our bodkin and split that thread, okay? There we go. Okay, so now we got the thread split and I'm just gonna come and put a little tap of dubbing wax on there. And for the thorax, I'm using SLF prison dubbing in caddis green. I'm just taking little wisps of that and sticking it to that far side okay and now we're going to take and spin the bobbin holder back the other direction clockwise and that'll cord everything up and capture that dubbing in between the strands of thread and now just go ahead and we're gonna wrap that around, pull back a little bit as you go. And I like that little wispiness that's sitting back like that there. And there you have it. That's it. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna tidy that up just a tad um, after I whip finish here. Three turn whip finish gets it done. And then that's a little bit wild. So we're just gonna come in and trim that up just a tad. There we go. Okay. 
just a little bit more underneath. There, now we're looking like, like I want it to. There you have it, chartreuse stinger. Easy fly to tie, very effective. I've, I've tied these in a blue shade also. Um, and um, orange will work on, on occasions, but there it is. Chartreuse stinger, it's really nothing more than a, a souped up brassy. Hope you found it helpful. If you like it, leave a like, comment. You know we love hearing from you. I bid you peace.